Hey everyone, Cobra here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're back on Soul Mask with a very exciting update that's coming soon. And I'm here to give you a sneak peek, uh, let you know a little bit about this update that will be coming out. Uh, the expected date for the update is this coming Thursday the 18th. And I've got some of the uh, changes that are going to be made. So one thing that's really big that a lot of people um, have had problems with with Soul Mask is that your initial character has been so weak compared to the tribesmen and they felt, you know, what's the point in making this character if it's just going to be wimpy and I'm going to have to get rid of him over and over again anyways. Well, the Soul Mask devs have heard your guys' complaints and they have come up with a solution or at least an attempt at a solution for us. So here's some of the things that they have done for this. So the first thing is now as your character levels up, your character can now gain talents. Just like when you get a tribesman, how they can have talents on them, your, your main character can now gain talents as well. I'm guessing just the good ones because if they give you bad ones then that would be kind of counterproductive but I'm not 100% sure on that one, but they can at least get exclusive talents that will make them better. Um, they also raised the initial level cap <coughs> of the main character from 40 to 50. Now, with that, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, unlock that raised it from 40 to 45 and then from 45 to 50, I believe they got rid of that. Um, in the data upload parts but it now is just base is st level 50 is now the cap for your initial character and then the skill proficiency caps this is the big one so the lifestyle skills meaning crafting um, things around the base those now go to 60 instead of 50 and combat skills meaning you know hammer dual blade all of that now go from 50 to 90 so your character can now get up to level 90 proficiency with those weapons, meaning you can get that third tier of that skill um, as well as the buffs for it, which granted that's not all the way up to the 120 you might get on a master um, tribesman that you get, but at least is much closer and makes your main character, well, very well-rounded since everything will be able to reach that 90, makes them much, more better, or much better for combat. Um, now, in addition to that, there's a new thing that they added. So if you've ever had a tribesman that had a bunch of really good abilities and you want to keep that, and actually proficiency caps as well, it says there's a new, uh, data replication technology that unlocks after defeating the iron version of the gorilla. You can now spend certain materials to perform a, it's called a deep scan, on the desired tribesmen. After completing the deep scan, you'll be able to replicate all data such, such as talents and proficiency caps to the initial character. So you can essentially take that character, copy and paste it onto your main character. Now it says this operation is irreversible, I'm guessing that means it can be done one time. Um, I don't know if it actually like kills the tribesmen or what how that works because we don't have the actual update out yet um, but we will find out soon because this update comes out on Thursday. In addition to that uh, when you now defeat the hurricane rock so um, sorry I think that's a translation when you defeat the griffin um, you now can unlock the quick reshape function. So when you have a tribesman die, normally you have to revive them on that stone tablet you get. You'll now, after defeating the griffin, be able to um, be able to revive them at any campfire, bonfire, or respawn point, which is really cool. So that's the they call it the quick reshape because you can do that really quickly. Uh, they've also added more map portals, but they're not the normal ones. They now can connect with your custom made, your personal teleporters. So those personal ones now 
are going to be much more viable because there will also be places throughout the map that you can just teleport by default with those, which is really cool. And they've added a few new resurrection points where you can uh, come back if you die. Um, and other than that, um, we know that the perfect remodel function, which they had for tribesmen to be able to perfectly copy them, um, that is now by default enabled on all official servers, whereas previously that was disabled and could only be turned on for your uh, private servers, but now it's on all public. And those are just some of the big changes that are going to be coming to you guys soon on this Thursday. Now, these are early access things. Um, they are subject to change. There might be little tweaks, but the majority of these are going to be staying as told by the developers themselves. So this is just a little sneak peek for you guys. I'm really excited about these and I can't wait to see how it plays out. Um, once I have some actual gameplay of this, I'll try and get a video up for you guys. I'm hoping to have some gameplay um, before it actually comes out, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And please like and subscribe. Keep supporting. The more support I get, the more videos I'll be making for you guys. And if you have any other videos you want me to make, let me know. Also, let me know if you guys want to see me stream at all. I've been debating starting to stream a little on Twitch. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that. And I will see you guys next time.